everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ, and this is episode 10 of our PDQ Connect Getting Started series. And well, I don't know where we go from here because I'm running out of fingers, so somebody else is going to have to keep track for me. But anyways, today for episode 10, we are taking a look at RBAC, which stands for Role-Based Access Control. So since that is a mouthful, I'm going to stick to RBAC for the remainder of the video. But let's talk about RBAC for a second. What is it? So RBAC, as the name implies, has to deal with permissions and access to a, a, any given system, uh, depending on a user's role. Okay, so think of it this way. You have a, a brand new help desk level one technician. They've been at the company for one day. You would give them access to ABC versus your sysadmin that's been with the company for 20 plus years who has access to features X, Y, Z. Our back is a uh, just an easy way to assign those permissions based on the user's role at the organization. And it call, kind of follows in line with uh, the principle of least privilege, which is that uh, you should only give privileges to a user that allows them to accomplish their job for an organization. So if you give them any more than that, then you're just elevating your security risk for your organization. So let's take a look at what RBAC looks like inside PDQ Connect. Okay, so here we are kind of at our home screen of PDQ Connect. You'll notice down here at the bottom left, we've got this little gear icon. This is gonna take us to our settings page. So if we give that a click, we're at our settings page now and we're immediately brought up to the teammates page. Now we are blurring this out. So to give some of my coworkers their privacy, but you can see here we have a list of their names, email addresses, and their role for the company or their role inside of PDQ Connect, I should say. You'll see here that everybody in our organization, since this is kind of a test environment of ours, is set to an admin so we can test all the features and stuff like that. Normally, you probably wouldn't want to have it set like that. But there's a couple of things I want to point out. First, we've got a search function right here. So if you have a lot of users in your organization, you can quickly search for their name and it'll just pull it right up to the top. This is also where you would invite teammates, enter their email address here after clicking invite teammate, and uh, it'll send that email off and uh, they can accept that invite and join your organization. Something else I want to point out is you can see here that this one role doesn't have an option to like, it doesn't have a drop down option to change the role. That is because that is my role and you cannot edit or modify your own role in PDQ Connect. Okay. Uh, but you will see for these other roles that I can change that. I can hit that drop down and I could change this to a member. Let's see, I will drop this one down, change them to a member and I've updated their role, okay? You'll also see that we have this settings button over here and I can delete the team member, which I won't do so I don't get in trouble there. And we'll change them back to an admin. Now let's actually dive into the roles and see what that looks like. So by default, you're gonna find two roles for your organization and these are both built by PDQ you can't edit or modify these and you can't delete them. But what we can do is dive into them and take a look at see what they uh, give access to. So this first role is the admin role. We can click into that, view it, and you can see all these are over to the right. They're all enabled. So it's giving this role access to every feature inside of PDQ Connect. Now, if we take a look at the member role, you'll see that by default, we are assigning users, new, us new users that get added to our PDQ Connect instance are being added to the member role. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So you see that a lot of these roles or permissions are already enabled for this. Deploy package, manage automations, manage custom packages. If we scroll down though, you'll see a couple that are disabled and that is manage roles and manage teammates. That's de by design. So as you add new people to your organization, most people will want them to be able to like use the functionality of PDQ Connect, but you may not want them to immediately be able to go in there and manage other people's permissions inside of PDQ Connect. And we feel like that's a pretty good baseline. Um, that's why we kind of have that one as the default, but we could change that. So if you wanted to set people as an admin as soon as they get invited to your instance, you could set the default right there. The other option on here is to create a role. So you can go in here and create any role you want with those different permissions set at whatever level that you want. So I could create a role right here. Let's just call this one help desk level one. Help desk level one, maybe we only want them to be able to deploy packages. So these are packages that come from the package library. These are packages that other people have maybe built into PDQ Connect in your instance. 
they will be able to go in and deploy those packages, but they won't be able to go in there. They can't manage the automations. They can't manage custom packages. They can't manage the groups or reports, but they can see those things, okay? You can see we've got everything else disabled. I will go ahead and hit create. Now we've got our help desk level one role. You'll see here, it says it's custom. That was created by you. You can always go in here and edit and configure that if you wanna change it. You can also set that one as your default if you want that to be your default role when people join your organization. We can go back over here to teammates and you'll see that that new role that we created is an option. So we can change that right there and their role has been updated. Okay, again, I will change that back as not to get in trouble. And we'll go back over to our roles here. Now you can create, uh, if you wanted to, you could create another role and let's just call this one read only. And you could leave all of these unchecked by default. So I could create that. Uh, I could also set that as my default and a role like this, when somebody gets invited to your org and if they are, uh, if the read on if the default role is set to read only then they're going to be able to access your instance of pdq connect and they'll be able to see everything in pdq connect but they won't be able to uh, utilize any of the features and functionalities they won't be able to edit packages they won't be able to deploy them things like that they won't be able to create reports but they can see all of that information they can see that the the computers your assets um, inside of pdq connect you can, they can see all the information along with them they can see the packages so that's kind of a, a read only role. The last thing I want to point out is, let's go back into here. Let me change this one more time. Hopefully they are getting a lot of notifications that I'm changing their roles. So we'll, sit, we'll change their role one more time. And if I go in here and I try to delete this role now, it's set as the default role. So first we'd have to change that. So let's go ahead and change that to, uh, we'll change that back to member actually. Now, if I try to go and delete this, you'll see that this role is currently assigned to one of our users. So it actually allows us to come in here and change this role, and then we can delete it. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, I do. That wraps up this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you got any questions about anything we covered here, make sure to hit us up in the comments down below, or you can head over to our Discord server. For PDQ, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching.